Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm gonna give you a free niche for Amazon affiliates. It's a really, really good one. If you want a niche that has a ton of searches and a ton of scope that you can do a lot with, this is for you. This niche will be best suited to if you're like, oh, there's never enough searches or I can't get ranked or there's not enough, you know, people searching for it and you can't get enough traffic to make a good amount from Amazon, this niche will blow your socks off, so to speak. So I'm gonna walk you through it. I hope you enjoy it. Also, bear in mind, if you check out the link in the description box below, I've set up a special page like this You'll find the link below and it will give you five free high paying Amazon niches for 2021. What I thought I would do as a sort of addition to this video is give you some more niches. So if you want some high paying niches, they've never been released before, they are below. You'll find the link, it will go through. They're easy to use and rank. I'll give you the keywords to use and they're high paying niches. I've picked out niches where you'll make at least $30 a sale. Most of them pay over $50 and a few of them pay over $100 per sale and you can get ranked on them. So do check that out. Um, I think that will really, really help you. you find the link below. All you have to do is click the button. It will pop up and it will say, where should I send your free niches? And you just put your name and email in and you'll get the five niches. You'll get one sent to you every day for five days with full instructions on how to use. So if you want more stuff for free, do check it out. Okay, let's have a look at this niche. So let me present to you this niche. First off, I'm gonna make the video not really, really long-winded, but I'll just explain a few things. Number one, this niche is best suited for a really ex loads of searches, okay? So I wouldn't call this a high-paying niche particularly, but it's well worth jumping on because of the amount of searches and the amount of interest and the amount of scope that you've got. So without further ado, here we go. The niche is dog supplements. Now, you can see the scope for it, okay? Because you can also do pet supplements if you wanted to create a really, really big site, or you can do cat supplements and so on, or any, any pet. So it's worth looking up some other pets as well. The other really cool thing that you've got with this particular niche is a crazy amount of traffic, a crazy amount of sales. Look at for an idea on Amazon, when you want to know how well something's selling in terms of popularity, you can see how many reviews are coming in for a product. So with higher ticket items, you don't, it won't absolutely fly. If something costs $5,000, it is going to sell at a slower rate than something that costs a dollar that's very popular. And what you can see here is a good go between. Like some of these supplements, uh, I'm looking at the multivitamins bestsellers at the minute, but some of them can be really, really pricey and you've got lots of different options when you go through. The other benefit that you've got on this niche is that they're very specific. So when you're writing reviews for these and overviews and so on, um, it's very, very specific. I'll give you a little guidance on how to write the reviews as well for the new Google review update for this niche. The other thing that you've got, so you wanna grab a pen and paper, is I recommend if you want to get ranked quicker to niche right down into one of these. So you can see dogs here and you can see that I'm on multivitamins. But you've also got fish oil supplements, herbal supplements, probiotics and antioxidants, amino acids. Um, and you'll, you'll want to do some research on them because you want to niche down, okay? Uh, I recommend if you just want to get a site out there that starts making money, you could like best dog multivitamins or multivitamins for your dog. The other way that you can do it without making it over complicated is if you're just going to go straight for an authority site, you can do it that way and you can go for like dog supplements and put them all on or cat supplements. And if you want to go massive like a superstore, you can go for just pet supplements okay so there's many ways that you can attack this niche uh, really really good huge amount of traffic and huge amount of searches i'll just show you some of the searches and then i i also recommend on what you should do for keywords for this niche as well so here we go okay so i'm using neil patel's uber suggest here i'm not a paid member of this um, so it's only given me a, a brief overview, but just to show you a couple of things that you want to do. Uh, I actually typed in dog supplements as a over a sort of wide key phrase here. But one of the things that you definitely want to do, you can see just for dog supplements, 
5,400 searches. Um, dog supplements for joints, there's 12,000 searches. Um, dog supplements for homemade food, 1,300. So there's plenty that you can get here and I recommend using this tool to see the search difficulty and going for the, uh, I mean look, dog supplements for joints uh, is 47, 68 in search difficulty which isn't really, really impossible. And the other thing that you can do is when we go back to the best sellers, you definitely want to make sure that you're looking up fish oil supplements for dogs as well and seeing the searches. The other really, really cool thing for keywords is remember that people will buy dog supplements for something, okay? So they will buy dog supplements and vitamins and amino acids for some reason. And I'll just give you an example of this and how I recommend doing your keyword research because all of the, all of the products that you review are there on the best sellers list. So when we go back here, you know the ones that are selling, so we don't have to go into that. We'll have a quick look in a minute and I'll advise on how to write the content for the new Google update. A, a really quick way that you can do it so you're not, you know, it, it's not perfect, it's a quick way that I'm gonna give you, but it's better than not doing it at all with the new update. And we got all the products there, but in terms of key phrases, one of the things you can do is this. Okay, so one of the things you can do is actually use Google Auto Suggest to give you ideas on why people were buying dog supplements. Okay, and you can re reference this and you can make sure that you get, see how many searches it's getting, but you can see here there's people searching for dog supplements for joints, um, dog supplements for arthritis, for broken bones, for itchy skin, for the skin, for the coat for raw diet, for weight gain. And in, in actual fact, there's so many sub niches that you can go into here. If you were doing dog, dog supplements for raw diet, for instance, you could maybe become an affiliate of some raw diet programs and start talking about them because that's a huge, huge area as well. So there's so much scope for this. The other thing that you can do, that's just dog supplements for joints, is when you do that and you have a look here, you've also got joint supplements for dogs with a sensitive stomach. So it will narrow down. It will also give you the LSI key phrases, the related searches. Without making it too complicated, remember that people are buying for something, okay? So with their dogs and with the multivitamins or supplements, you've also got these. I recommend that you reference these. So probiotics and, and type in dog pro, uh, probiotics for dogs for nice fur or you know, clean looking fur, shiny fur, healthy looking fur, that sort of thing. Herbal supplements for dogs for, and then see what people are searching on because these are brilliant for key phrases because then you can research it and then when you're writing your content, you can link back to the best products that would be a really good fit to solve that problem. So I hope that makes sense. It is a really big niche. The reason I'm recommending it to you is because the products are absolutely flying off the shelves. So the way I recommend that you do it, let's have a look at um, one of these products. The way I recommend that you do it for the new Google update, I'm not gonna make it really, really complicated, but here's the key distinction that I want you to get when you're writing your reviews. Instead of just writing your reviews like introduction and then doing an overview of the features, then a benefit of the features, the way I recommend that you do your reviews is more of a focus on the customer experience and the customer reason to buy. So it's actually, you could, I've got a PDF coming for you, so don't sweat it if you're really like confused about the Google review update because I've got a writing guide for that and you can also check out some of my previous videos that will tell you about the Google review update and how to write it, okay? But just for the purposes of this video so it's not too long, just make sure that you focus, yes, on the features and what they do, but only make that like 20, 30% of your article and make a good 70 or 80% of your article actually referencing um, customer experience, how they're getting on with the product, what they liked, what they didn't like. And to do that, you can actually research it. So you can see on the reviews here, if I go down here, you can actually see the reviews. Now with Amazon, you can't just cut, you, you, it's not a good idea just to copy the reviews, okay? I wouldn't recommend that, it's against their affiliate terms. But you can research it and see what people were saying. So you can see what they're saying on the one star reviews and the three star and the four star. You can see why people have purchased 
this particular thing. So you've got other key phrases you can go for, like uh, dog supplements for senior dogs and, and so on. Um, and, and go more for the customer experience. So number one, go more for the customer experience. How have they found the actual product? What are they saying? What's the good? What's the indifferent? What's the bad? The next thing that you want to include on your review is the uses that people have purchased for that you can also glean from the reviews as well. So they always say, like on the reviews here, they say about their dog's experience. Penny has a slow of tough medical issues due to the way she was abandoned. Her worst problems are ataxia and seizures. Due to the strong meds she is on and very limited mobility, we've had a lot of trouble keeping her weight down and keeping her skin healthy, which is why they bought the um, supplements okay and you can find that information you're not copying and pasting but you can say on your review most people purchase this if you want to make the if you want to help your dog gain weight maybe they're a bit under the weather maybe their coat doesn't look as nice as it did maybe they're a senior dog that needs to sort of pick up and and obviously research this and be careful not to give any medical advice actually put that on so you you know you're not a vet and it's just for you check out the product and ask questions from the manufacturers themselves obviously admit all that but focus more on the customer experience why they're using it why people buying it and whether it would be a good fit for their dog's problem overall just giving them an a overall look at it okay and that will really really work well and then you will have a site with all your product reviews on so you'd have you've got that best sellers list and you've you've narrowed right down you're going to put all your best sellers on and then i recommend 10 15 20 of those key phrases linking back to the relevant products set it up in the search console set it up on google analytics and you will do really really well and obviously reference check all the keywords that you're using to make sure that they get searches and make sure that you can rank on them as well so i hope you enjoyed that i tried to make it not really long-winded make sure if you're stuck on any of this stuff um get your free niches below they're in the box underneath this video it will take you through to this page here you can get five free high paying niches and i'll tell you what else i'll do since you've watched this whole video i will also send you a free 30 day course on how to build amazon sites exactly the way i recommend so they rank and make money so you'll get that to start going through and you can use this niche and start going through a video a day and start making some money so thanks ever so much for watching subscribe if you liked it um, give us a like if you liked it i'd appreciate it and get your free niches below go and use it let me know if any questions and I will get another video with a free report for you on how to write with the Google review update, a little template thing as well. Cheers for watching guys and I'll speak to you really soon.